jQuery comes in two versions. There's the production version, and that's been compressed and minified down, and the development version. And you can see here in the screenshot that at the time I took this little snapshot, the production version is about 19K, and the development version is about 120K. So typically what you'll do is you'll download both of these versions, and then you'll use each one for its intended purpose. So during development, you'll use the development version because that's the version that makes it easier to debug. You can step through the code and see how things are working. But when you're ready to deploy jQuery to your web server, you'll use the production version. And there's no real differences between the code. The only real difference is that the production version has had some compression applied to it to make it a lot faster to download to your users' websites. Okay, so let's jump over to the jQuery website and take a quick tour over there. I'm going to scroll through a little bit. There's a lot of great information here on the jQuery website, and I'll take a moment and go through some of it, but the most important thing to pay attention to right now is the download area over here. So the way that you download it essentially is you can either choose which one you want to download by choosing either production or development, or you can go up here to the download tab, and that will take you to the download section. So essentially what you'll do is I will just choose, for example, the production, and I'll click on download, and that will take me to the download page. Then all I need to do is just right-click on this and then just save the file as the JavaScript file. There's no zip file I have to extract or anything like that. This will just come right down in its finished form. So let's go back to the jQuery site. Otherwise, I can just go down to the download tab, and the download tab, this is a little bit more information about how to download it, what the code is all about, some release information. So again, here, if we go to the download section, you see I can have a couple of options. There's the minified version, there's the uncompressed, that's the development version. There's also a documentation version. So if you happen to be using Visual Studio, the documentation version is a version of the jQuery library that has had certain comments embedded into it. So you'll get full IntelliSense, sometimes it's called statement completion, inside your editor. In this case, it's Visual Studio. However, if you're not using Visual Studio, it's no big deal. You can just download one of these two versions. In fact, in order to use the VS version, what you'll do is you'll download one of these two guys first, and you'll download this one as well, and you'll put them both in the same directory, and you'll see this in a couple of minutes because I'm using a version of Visual Studio in this course that makes use of this documentation. But this is the tab you go to when you want to learn about the past releases, what has changed, that kind of thing. Typically, however, I just use the download page. So I'm not going to go through that process because it takes a couple of minutes. But once you've saved the jQuery.js file on your hard drive somewhere, all you need to do is move it into your website and include a script reference, and you can start using it.